Now in this chapter, we're going to do a quick overview of Adobe Bridge. Now in Photoshop, in your application bar, you have Launch Bridge, and then you have Mini Bridge. So let's take a look at Adobe Bridge. And Adobe Bridge is a standalone image browser and a content manager that you have that gets installed with all your Adobe products. And basically it allows you to manage your images and your metadata for your images through Adobe Bridge and all Adobe products. So on the left here you have your folders, so you can navigate your folders. It's a way for you to navigate. Or you can navigate through your paths here. Then you could also right click on here and add to favorites. In your favorites tab you can see that now our favorites have been added. Down below we have filters and different way of searching filters by labels, color, ratings, file types, keywords, any kind of metadata that you want to put or tag in your image you can go ahead and search and filter things out through here. Then you have collections, you can grab some pictures, simply make a new collection, and those collections will be added. Then you could also export to Facebook, Flickr, Photoshop.com, select your images, and you go ahead and would export to those. So it's pretty handy. You can also export to a web gallery to your website, and I'll show you that in a second. But here we have our content window, and our content window basically has and displays all of our images. Once we select on an image, you can see that we have our metadata. Basically all of our information that's tagged with our image is located here. Then we have keywords, so you could set this up to have keywords. And our preview shows a preview of our image. Moving on to film strip. In the film strip, it's basically just another way to display your images. A different view. You have a metadata view, which you can sort by metadata, and you could basically go ahead and search for anything that you want or sort and display any image however you want using this metadata. And then we have output. And in output, what this allows you to do is you can export your images to a PDF file using these settings, or you can export them to a web gallery. So we have our images. We could fill in our gallery title, gallery caption about this gallery, name, contact, color palette, we could go ahead and change things your appearance, show cell numbers, show file names, preview size, quality, basically a bunch of bells and whistles for you to play with to export your gallery. Under Create Gallery is where you put your FTP information, your username, password, and all that jazz, and then you would go ahead and hit Upload. When it's done processing that stuff, it's going to upload this gallery to your website, or wherever you put it, and you'll have a gallery that will show up like this or however you color it. This is just a basic Lightroom one. And you can see that very easily we created a web gallery on our website. So that's Adobe Bridge in a nutshell. Like there's some little more controls in here but that's all we're really going to cover. Um, it's pretty handy but it is a very um, kind of powerful tool but it does use a lot of resources too. Now if we jump back into Photoshop, there's the mini bridge, which has been implemented with Adobe CS Live. And then we have our navigation in here, and we have our favorites that we just set up, and we can sort of access and open our files and images right from here. So that's Adobe Bridge and Adobe Mini Bridge.